Okay, hello YouTubers, and today I am finally reviewing the 2022 8th Doctor set from uh, B&M. So, yeah, I didn't initially uh, pick this up because I didn't think this was worth £22. However, recently, this, along with the 9th and 10th Doctor sets, wiggling out the Jodie Whittaker set, although I imagine that one is probably soon to go down as well, if not by the time this video goes out, have gone, excuse me, down to 16 99 Which, for this set, yeah, I'd say 16 99 is worth it, or at least the maximum amount I would pay for this. Although, I'm going to say this right now, if you're still on the fence, maybe wait a bit longer, possibly. Although, seeing that since the price has gone down, I have noticed quite a few people have been posting about going to get it and that now, so maybe not wait on the fence too long. But anyway, uh, let's actually take a look at uh, the figures. So we'll start with the TV movie version. Now, there's not an awful lot to say about this one other than some of the, we'll call them interesting choices that have been made. So, the actual coat is a darker green, which, I mean, to be honest, it's not that much uh, different. Although I will say this one being a bit more of a greeny sort of colour, I'd say kind of brings it out a bit better than the original in those ways. And definitely with the lapels and the buttons there, something that isn't as good, though, is the waistcoat and cravat which have had this kind of metallic finish done to them, which they shouldn't have. They should not have. Now, the colour is slightly closer to what it should be, but the fact is we don't have any patterns on the actual waistcoat itself, whereas on the original one we did. And I know some people are going to say, oh, it's B&M, you know, they have to simplify things down, blah, blah, blah. Well... I'm just going to say, how come the 4th Doctor's uh, waistcoat and the 4th Doctor's cardigans and that, they can have patterns and that on there, so why can't this? So yeah, and then the trousers are more of a tan colour this time around, and have that sort of uh, tweed sort of texture to them. Now the trousers, I'm going to allow the trousers, I will say though they're too much of like a sort of tan colour than they actually should be now depending on the lighting of the scene the trousers may look grey or they may look tanned depending on the lighting so with either one you know you could say either or with these and then you've got uh, the shoes which are just a standard uh, brown colour and in terms of the head yeah um I don't know why uh, they've made it so he's got uh, red lining around his eyes like there to make it look like he's being sleeping uh, lack of sleep up all night and then the hair is interesting again uh, because it doesn't really look like Paul McGann's then natural hair colour and it doesn't look and obviously it isn't the colour of the wig he was wearing at the time now the original figure of this just used, you know, tried to just go to make it look like Paul McGann's actual hair colour. So, yeah, technically neither are correct because he wore a wig. So, yeah, there's there's that with that. But, you know, overall, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm mostly annoyed about the waistcoat, to be honest. But if you didn't have the original release, which... Has only ever seen a release before in the 13, and 13 in the 11 Doctor's box set. Uh, this is not a bad one to go for, to be honest. For that, so, yeah. Then we have Dark Eyes 8, which... Yeah, uh, surprisingly has become... I wouldn't say a rare figure, by all means, you can find it. But it has become a bloody expensive bugger to get, if you didn't have it. And I will say... This one is improved. This one is probably the only figure I'm going to see out of the three of these that, yes, this is 100% improved the definitive version. 
and it's mainly because of the hex sculpt. Or should I say more, less the hex sculpt, but the paint apps on it. The paint apps on the original one kind of looked like it was trying to be a comic book version of the 8th Doctor. Because he had cartoony sort of eyebrows, and yeah, the, the paint seemed rather thick on the figure, which hid a lot more of the more subtler details. This one, thankfully, is not that in the case. Now, something I'll say about this, and I said it in my 9th Doctor set review... Now, if you remember, the Ninth Doctor had a new coat made for him, a new jacket, just for the regular Ninth Doctor that was in that set, the comic book version. And that coat or jacket sculpt would have suited this Dark Eyes Eighth Doctor much better because it didn't have the same sort of um, more battered look that this one does. And if you look at actual pictures, you know, of... Dark Eyes 8 or Dark Eyes 8 onwards. Basically, the leather jacket he's wearing obviously isn't battered up because it's only ever being used when Paul McGann goes to conventions or in any big finish photo shoot. So, it's in pretty good nick. Not that this is a bad one to use for it, but I'm just saying, you know, when that sculpt was there and an option was there for it, it does seem rather odd. But yeah, um, the rest of the figure is pretty much... The same, uh, the jacket I think maybe slightly darker and the jeans are a bit darker as well. And on this one he's wearing black shoes, which uh, I believe that is the same as he was wearing in the Big Finish exclusive version of the original B&M release, which I do also own. Now again, that is, Paul McGann has worn black and brown shoes depending on what uh, photo call it was. So either or is exactly the same. Though saying that, if you do want the brown shoes variant, you know, it's not that hard to just, you know, paint them brown. Even I can do it. So if that bothers you, then okay. Now, something we do have is the satchel, which is uh, moulded again in a sort of tan brown colour and it's nice that it is included here now this was uh, made for a primeval figure the connor temple figure the um jacketless uh, variant and yeah it's really nice and it's nice that this is actually finally included and it does get me on to another point why is there no sonic screwdrivers in these releases why you're telling me that there's the budget to Give the 8th Doctor his satchel or handbag, whatever you want to call it. There's the budget to give Cybermen guns, Sontaran guns and helmets and everything. But for some reason there isn't the budget to give any of these Doctors a sonic screwdriver. And especially considering you could have just included the one, you know, iconic, more iconic 8th Doctor classic sonic screwdriver. And it would do for the TV movie one. And also the Knight of the Doctor variant. So, yeah, I, I I don't know why. Or, you know, it would be nice if we had the a Dark Eyes 8 version. But, you know, I'll give them that since a sculpt on that doesn't exist. But I'm just saying, like, why is this the case? Now, for me, not as big of a deal because I do have a few of these uh, screwdrivers. Not as many 8th Doctor ones because... There hasn't been that many 8th Doctor releases. I think I've got about uh, three, maybe four of them. But, uh, yeah, in terms of people who don't have that and missed out on the original release and also any, you know, subsequent releases, because, again, there's not that many 8th Doctor figures, they're not going to have a sonic screwdriver for uh, the 8th Doctor, so... Yeah, and plus, I want a Sonic Screwdriver to be included in the set. Like, if you were going to, you know, start bumping up the price, and I know that's to do with inflation and blah, 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 but, you know, I don't mind paying more if we get more as a result. If paying a little bit more means we get better sets, then basically, you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for paying a bit more. Not ridiculously more. Not ridiculously more. But, you know... Like some, just a standard sonic screwdriver accessory, you know, would be nice. Just saying. But uh, yeah, I do really like this uh, version and I would call it 
the definitive one of this version of the Eighth Doctor overall. And finally, we have the What the Hell Happened Here variant. So, this is the Knight of the Doctor uh, version, or the Time War Eighth Doctor. So, yeah, now on the box, it's listed as costume during the Time War. Now, Paul McGann only has one variant of this outfit. And that variant has been used in all the publicity images and everything like that. Now, there are two versions of the same outfit. There's the battered version, which, again, that was released in the 13 Doctor sex, where he's got all the cuts and that. And then there's just the standard version, which is meant to be this version. But, yeah, the court has been given a really dark sort of a green-ish look. But it is a really, really dark green. And, to be honest, the original release of this got the colour correct. I don't know why this one's being made so much darker compared to the original release. And also, the waistcoat is now gold as opposed to a more bronze type colour. And again, making it look really, really metallic for, again, reasons. But, yeah, I, I just don't know why. And also, we'll take a look at the trousers as well. The trousers themselves are, again, mostly the same. They just seem to have almost hints of green that in there. But the main thing that is wrong with these is the boots, the ankle boots. We'll compare an actual image here. Yeah, no. The original release got that one better, to be honest. And, yeah, again, it's annoying that he has no accessories uh, either. Like, just a sonic screwdriver, or, you know, what about um, the... What's it? Is it called a bandolier or something like that? Uh, that he wears across there, or the cup, or something like that. Still, it's a ni it is a nice, you know, figure overall. But, again, it just seems like the Aldoa thing of let's make changes for the sake of making changes as opposed to, you know, any benefits to the figure or any more accuracies in terms of that. Again, none of these changes, you know, are too major that, you know, that I'd say, yeah, it's ruined it. But, ooh, he wants to fall over, but he won't. But all of them, apart from, again, the Dark Eyes variant, all of them have something that just makes me go... If only that was this, or if only that was that, you know, because it's so close, it's so close, you know. And having three, having this as a three pack makes more sense than, for example, the tenth Doctor ones, because the eighth Doctor's look did drastically change over time. Although, I mean, seeing that the the dark eyes and this look were, I think, only. A year or two apart. So yeah, it's really weird. Because, yeah, it's always weird with the Eighth Doctor. Because if you look at his TV costumes, it makes sense how you go from that to that. But then you have uh, the Dark Eyes one where it just looks really weird. You go from this to that to that. But yeah, this also does, you know, prove that yes, they still have the Big Finish license. Because a lot of people were wondering why there are no more Big Finish figures. You know, have they lost out on the license? Well, clearly not. Clearly not. They still clearly have the license. I imagine it's all part of the same thing. So, yeah. Uh, just a bit of a shame here. So, we'll take a quick look at the back of the box here. Again, load of information... And that on the back, which I will never, never, ever, ever read. Again, that's a nice, you know, window box, which, again, maybe the last time we ever see a plastic window box figure set. But, yeah, I'd say, you know, if you go into a B&M and get this for sixteen ninety nine, yeah, it's worth it. But, do not, unless you have no other option... Which, again, you shouldn't because most B&Ms, like, basically 99% of B&Ms have the three packs and they tend to have all of them. 
avoid buying this on B&M's website. And the reason is, is because B&M don't tend to send things in boxes. They just tend to basically send things in a plastic bag. And I'm not joking. So, yeah, I mean, this would hold up, obviously, better than a TARDIS set would because it's got the plastic to protect it. But even so, you're paying at least £4 or three ninety five for delivery. So, yeah, just just get one for, from a store. But, uh, yeah, this is the only one I'd say, yep, jump in now. This is the time to get them. With the other sex, uh, the Whitaker sex. The only reason I'd get that if is if it was reduced to like a fiver at most, because I've got no interest in getting that. And in terms of the tenth Doctor one, well, again we'll see. I wouldn't have got the ninth Doctor one unless the only reason I've got that one now is because that was a Christmas present. So yeah, but this one sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, I'd say it's. That's worth it, and it's easily the best out of the three packs that we had this year. I know that's not saying much, but hey-ho, there we go.